Hey, Isaac Kotek, Subaqueous, and in this video, I'm going to be showing off how we can use the Fibonacci sequence in our delays in Ableton Live to create a really trippy, cool effect. You can download it for free by donation at my site. Just follow the link in the description. It's an awesome way to put in some sacred G into your music, play around with mathematical sequences, and creating a cool effect. First of all, let's hear the sound. I've got this bell. And on this first effect, if I turn up this dry wet, I can do multiple layers of the delay and the frequency of it. I'm gonna go in depth later. I can keep adding. Just playing around with this and then wow. Let's turn that back off see how it adds some really interesting textures to it. All right, so to start, let's look at what the Fibonacci sequence is. Now, the link to this site is going to be in the description of this video, but basically I want to show you that the Fibonacci sequence is a sequence of numbers that go up. So you see how it goes 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, and so on. It's a, it's a really interesting thing that we see in nature and architecture and all sorts of things all the time with this spiral out using the Fibonacci sequence. Now, what I find really interesting about that is that natural curve and spiral we see all around us all the time and using that mathematically in our music to create some interesting spirally moving morphing sounds. So if you want to read more into what the sequence is, run the math around it, check out this website, mathisfun.com. Again, the link will be in the description. So I just took these amounts of 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, going up the sequence, and made them milliseconds. So we have 100 milliseconds, 200 milliseconds, 300, and so on. So looking back at this effect, we'll look at this first one. And what I did is I basically have this single chain, and in it, we have multiple ping pong delays that are going up. And on this ping pong delay, I actually had to do a little trickery to get it to 1,300 by layering two of them at 650 all the way, all the way wet. Just shrink that one for now. And then with these parameters, my dry wet goes across all the different ping pong delays. So that's about 50-50 here. And then the layers turns on the different ping pong. So the more that we have, the more they're stacking on each other. Basically, this ping pong goes into that one, that one, and so on. So it's kind of multiplying itself. And we can also move the filter delay. And I can even bring it down to just a more simple with only these two on. I really like that one because it has a lot of cool textures and things you can do with this. Another way that I built this is instead of having them all stacked in a single chain, I created a multi-chain version. So let's turn that one all the way off. And basically, I have this chain selector that moves, and each time you move it, it adds a different layer. And that's going through all the different layers. Now you notice it sounds different already because this 100 millisecond isn't then going into a 200 millisecond delay, a 300 millisecond, and so on. Instead, we have a dry and then all the separate delays that are being added together at the end. So they're not kind of feeding back into each other. And then in this case, I have a wet, which turns off all those chains, turns down their volume, turn them up, and then the dry amount. I had to build it a little different to get the effect that I wanted to. And just like the other one, we can also change the filter of these delays. And lastly, we have this Fibonacci grain audio effect. This was when I first started building these racks. I was trying to use a much smaller amount, so I was only using one millisecond, two millisecond, three millisecond, and so on. And I found that it becomes very granular. So I'm going to turn these off. And 
has to be at 50% to really get this sound. And with all these grains on, we're just getting a very strange granular sound out of it. But what I noticed was when I turned these off, one at a time, it kind of opens up the sound. So it could be a really cool way of making a riser or playing with a sound where it sneaks in by opening up basically the grain size. And again, this is using the Fibonacci sequence, so it's a really unique, cool way of doing that. So there you have it. Those are the three effects. They're going to be for free by donation on my site, subaqueousmusic.com. Check the link in this video description to go download it. And if you want, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be releasing more free audio effects using sacred geometry, mathematical sequences, these different things that I'm getting really intrigued by and putting them in my music. And if you want to play around with it, it's going to be really sweet. So subscribe to the channel and enjoy using these. Feel free to comment or hit me up if you use them in your music. I'd love to check out what other people are doing.